Back in May, we started uh, constructing this emergency drought barrier. Um, there's 150,000 tons of rock uh, that have been used on this uh, particular barrier. Uh, we closed it off in June um, and it opened up again uh, this morning at about 7.55. And you're probably wondering whether or not it made a difference and it really has. Uh, we've seen uh, salinity drops between about 100 to 300 microsiemens per centimeter. So it's uh, been very beneficial for us. We've been able to reserve water for uh, upstream salmon, uh, a lot of different agricultural uses um, throughout the valley. Um, so it's been a uh, very beneficial thing. So the impact of not having snow in our, in our upper elevations has really come home to roost this year with regard to how we manage cold water pools in our reservoirs, the impact on the environment, the impact on agriculture and certainly our urban areas. Um, as we got in later in this year, even though we had December with above average rainfall, really we did not receive the rainfall we needed and more importantly also the snowpack, which didn't allow us to have that runoff later in the year, So, which resulted in the department working with our partner agencies through what we call a real-time water operations team to make the call and actually install this emergency barrier.